I had, bizarrely, not listened to any of my voicemails that day. And when I got home, my battery had run out and I couldn't listen to it in the cab on the way home. And when I got home, my husband said, why didn't you call me? He said, Alex rang today and he told me that you're going to get fired on Thursday. You've been speaking <coughs> to the press without Earl's permission. And she knows that you wouldn't do it on purpose, but you did it because you're an alcoholic. And I went, excuse me? Elle had proposed that I be sent to rehab to recover from my alcoholism to the same place that she goes to and that they would all pay for it and that I would then get better and when I came back after five weeks, everything would be lovely. Well, I honestly thought, if you put yourself in my position, what would you think? I'm, I know I'm an idiot, but I gave in and I went to this horrible place. And when you went uh, to the meadows, uh, were you uh, seen there uh, by medical experts? I was. And what did they conclude? After ten, after 10 days, they rang my husband and they said that I had been subjected to a, it's called a, an intervention, like a, one of those CIA renditions, except they don't put you in chains and torture you. But, but they said that I wasn't an alcoholic, and I had, but I had been bullied. You return uh, from the meadows. What were you hoping was going to happen upon your return? Well, I'd kept my side of the bargain. I came back with a clean bill of health with a thing that said I was suffering from adjust adjustment disorder, which apparently means stress in American psychiatric hospitals. And, and so I came, I came back. I was, I was back in the office on the 6th of January, and I went to see Matthew, and I said, well, what do I do now? <laughs> and he said, well, it's business as usual. You've done what she wanted. And so she was still away, and I sent her a text. And on the 9th, she rang me on the way back from the airport and said I was fired. She didn't want me to handle her business anymore. She couldn't trust me. I was ungrateful for what she'd done for me. Things went from bad to worse after that. On the 10th of March, they made me redundant. I had no warning, nothing. I was made redundant. And I became very ill on the evening of the 28th and um, the situation just got worse and worse. And I couldn't drive anymore. I didn't know when I was going to fall down. And that wasn't resolved until... I wasn't diagnosed until yeah, February I think I can stop you there. Yeah, the important thing is this was a physical condition yes. eventually yes. diagnosed. Yes. Yes.